This is the Horniture Robot Vacuum Cleaner. What makes this unique is that it does carpet and it also works as a mop. You can put this mop attachment on it. Also a nice hidden bonus that I really like about this built-in cleaning tool that you don't lose. Out of the box, you do get this manual. It is a pretty beefy manual, actually. It's very detailed, nice to have with something like this. You have cable ties, you have the sweeper brushes, and then you have the charging mount or base station, whatever you want to call it. Nice thing about this, you can wrap the cord around so you can keep the cord out of the way, plug it in, and here is the little charger for it. Very small, actually. So none of this takes up a whole lot of room. You've got the remote control, so you can pretend that the vacuum is a toy and you can drive it around. You've got a magnetic strip that prevents it going to where you don't want it to go. Here is the mop attachment. It does only have the one mop fabric thing, so it doesn't come with a lot. The sweepers are color-coded. I don't think they're different but they are color coded. So the vacuum itself, you can pull out this little mop tank or water tank, I guess. You can put some warm water in and it will dispense the water into the fabric as it mops. Here's the flip cover and inside, again, you have this really cool cleaning tool that you don't lose because it's put inside which is very nice and you will want to clean it a lot. And then here's the dust compartment. It has a filter on it to help filter out this stuff. And then on the side, you can open it right up just to dump all of this stuff out when you're done, dump it into the garbage can. So you can see here, it's got the big wheels. That's where you put the sweepers on. There's the battery. And then here are the cleaning brushes and stuff. So it's got two buttons on the main part. It's got the on off button and a home or return to home button. So here I am laying down the strip so it stays in this very small, tiny room. I put an action camera on it so that you could pretend that you are the vacuum and you can experience what it's like as the life of a vacuum cleaner. So here it goes. You can see it's just kind of going back and forth. It has this nice pattern, kind of like a lawnmower where it just goes back and forth. It makes nice lines. I did notice with the, the magnetic strip, it kind of wanted to go past that a lot and it stayed there for a while. But overall, it did a great job. Here's the app. It's Honey Smart App. I installed it and then I thought, hey, maybe I can use the Smart Life app to connect this. And you indeed can. You can use the Smart Life app. And all of the features that show up with the app are really nice. It's got this map, so it auto-generates that as it's going. So you can see what it has vacuumed. It has different modes for how you can vacuum if you want to do edges or do spa or random. You can schedule it so you can have it going off at night or whenever you're gone so it doesn't disturb you during the day. You can change the suction so it sucks more, I guess, or gently -er. And then you can do water control and all sorts of different things with that. You can also view the stats for how much filter life you have. So you can know when to replace everything on this. You can turn on carpet booster, carpet mode. And so overall, you have a lot of customizations that you can do with the robot vacuum cleaner. So this is just one vacuum in the small room. You can see all of the hair it picked up and all of the... I don't know what that stuff, it picks up stuff, picks up a lot of stuff. In fact, I don't know how it picked up that much stuff from such a small room, but it does seem to have really good suction. Otherwise, I don't know how it could do that. But that was, again, one small room, one time, picked up all that stuff. I'm impressed. So here I am trying out the mop functions. I put warm water in it and then you just put it inside, put the mop pad on, and then you set it to go just like you would if you were vacuuming your carpet. And all it really does is it lets out some water as it drags the little fabric across the ground. So honestly, it's not going to do an amazing job picking up major things or things that are caked onto the ground but it will pick up dust, it will pick up hair, and overall it just makes it cleaner. You can see it's a bit dirty here. It just sticks on with Velcro. And then here I am spot cleaning with the vacuum. I gave my son some crackers, and if you can believe it, he did not clean up after himself, so I have to 
make the robot do it. Thanks, robot, for cleaning up after my son. But it just goes in a circle so it can get all this stuff and then it kind of goes back and does another circle after it's done with the first circle. I really liked having this robot vacuum cleaner. I've used a lot of robot vacuum cleaners. This is one of the better ones. I won't necessarily say it is the best, but I can't think of anything I don't really like about it. I would say it could have maybe a slightly bigger battery. The battery life on this could be better, but I, I'm not too bothered by that. I mean, it charges itself and vacuums itself, so I have no problem with this. The app functions are great. It's nice that you can put the mop function on if you want to do a quick cleaning. This was sent to me for free to do this review. I really enjoyed having it. I definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.